Yo, hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can create subplots using matplotlib. There's a couple definitions we'll need to cover, one of which is a figure. A figure is the entire canvas in which we add a plot to. Then we have an axe. An axe is also known as a subplot. It's a single plot within a figure. A figure can contain multiple axes, or subplots. We're going to call a subplots function. It's going to return a tuple that has a few things inside of it. Just to demonstrate, temporarily I'm going to print access plt, call the subplots function. Within the subplots function, we're going to determine the layout of our figure. How many rows and columns of subplots will be within our figure? For example, we could have a 2x2, two, two. two rows, two columns, or 2x3, two, two rows, three columns, or a 3x2. Three three rows, two columns. Let's stick with a two by two for now. I want to show you what this function returns exactly. It's a little complex, but we'll break it down. The subplots function, it will return a tuple. The tuple has two entities, a figure object, which is our canvas, and a two dimensional array of axes objects. When we call this function, we're going to unpack this tuple right away. Rather than use print, we're going to assign what's returned to us and unpack it. We'll create a figure object and an axes object. Figure and axes equals call the subplots function. Figure is our canvas. We won't actually be using it in this topic but we're provided with it by the subplots function. We'll print this two-dimensional list right away. Here's how. We'll plot each of these subplots, but we won't add any data quite yet, not until later. If I was to call the show function, we can see all the subplots that we have. Access plt, call the show function. We have four subplots, two rows, two columns. If this were a one by two, one row, two columns, we have two subplots. Or a two by one, which would be two rows, one column. A three by three would be three rows, three columns. We don't need that many subplots, but I think you get the idea. We'll have a two by two, two rows, two columns. We'll fill each of these individual subplots in. Here's how. We'll start with the top left corner. Row zero, column zero will access our 2D list of axes at row zero, column zero, and then plot it calling the plot function. We will need some data. We'll keep it simple. We'll say x equals a numpy array with a list that contains one, two, three, four, five. We'll plot x, but to keep it simple, we'll just say y will be x times 2. Let's take a look. We've selected the subplot at row 0, column 0. So only this one is filled in with our data. Let's customize it. Let's set the color to be red with a keyword argument. The color is now red. And let's add a title we need to select that specific subplot using a set of indices. Axes at row zero, column zero, call the set title function, then pass it a title. We'll say x times two for the title. And there's the title for this specific subplot. Now we'll plot the top right subplot. We need to select that specific one. That would be row zero, column one. We'll call the plot function, pass in x. We'll say x to the power of 2 for the y-axis. Select a color. I'll select blue. Then set the title. Axes at row 0, column 1. We will set the title to be x to the power of 2. The top right subplot should now be plotted. 
All right, let's select the bottom left corner. That will have different indices. Axes at row one, column zero. We'll call the plot function, pass in x. For y, we'll say x to the power of three. We'll set the color to be green. Then set a title. Axes at indices of one comma zero. Call the set title function. This will be x to the power of three. Oops, looks like I misspelt color. There we go. Some of these subplots are overlapping. You can add a tight layout so everything fits. Axis PLT, call the tight layout function. And now they should all fit in place, which they do. Let's finish this bottom right corner. I'll just copy and paste the last two lines. That would be axes at row one, column one. This will be x to the power of four. The color will be purple. Axes at row one, column one. We'll set the title to be x to the power of four. There we go. We have now filled in the bottom right corner. Now, if this were a three by three, Well, then only these four subplots are still filled in, but we really don't need that many. Now, you don't necessarily need to use plots. You could use different graphs instead, such as a bar chart or whatever else you would like. All right, everybody, and that is how to create subplots using matplotlib.